Hi guys, um, I am back tonight with the uh, last part of the video uh, continuing from last night, which would be part four. Um, I've got the bottle here. It is all dried, completely dried all the way around. Um, I still haven't figured out the webcam settings here, so I'm, I, I don't know what to do about it. I don't have a very wide screen. So I'm going to have to play with that so that I can get the whole bottle in view. I know there's a way to do it. I just don't know why um, it's not working right now. So this is the bottle. It's all dry. Um, I'm planning on taking these images that are on here, uh, not all of them. Um, I use the tracing paper and sometimes I'll, I'll trace other images um, or draw them out, whichever. Some of them are drawn, some of them are traced. It just depends on, um, you know, the artwork. Uh, the one that's right here, let's see if I can bring it in. Oh, the one that is right here is one that I'm going to um, color in with some acrylic paint. I thought about using some watercolor paint, but I think I'm going to stick with the acrylic since it looks so good against the, the blue chalk paint that's on the bottle. And I'm probably going to use this one right here. Um, so you basically just get the uh, fine point tip uh, Sharpie marker and you're just going to go in on it. Um, you know, just kind of fill it in. Um, I want to be real careful with this, so I'm not going to do it while I'm talking. But just kind of give you an idea of what you do. You just kind of fill it in. And then I'm going to go back over it with... Um, the uh, different colors of acrylic paint, maybe some some blacks and some blues and some I don't know yet. I really I don't know. I haven't decided. I might I might do some purples and blues and black. Maybe I don't know. But um, the point in in using this um, it goes back to probably the first few videos that I made. I always make my own elements, my own uh, I don't know what to call them other than an element um, for the bottle. So um, the way that I transfer them over um, is using the um, photo paper. I uh, picked this up at Dollar Tree. Uh, it's for a dollar, and um, you get 20 sheets in there, so I think that's a, that's a pretty good deal. Um, most people take this, and they'll print it out directly on there. I like adding the set, you know, my own personal touch to it and just you know, drawing it out, tracing it out, and then I want to take it and I'm going to Mod Podge it with um, the Mod Podge onto the photo paper. And there's two different sizes here. This is the size that I would use for smaller images that are like this. And then um, if I'm going to do something that's a little bit bigger, I'm going to use uh, the pack like this that I got from Walmart. You can get this at Walmart for, it's a little high, it's, you know, it's the biggest pack that they have, but it's got the glossy um, finish on it, so, you know, I mean, there's a ton of it in here, and I'd probably take forever to use it if I continued to make my own elements like I do. So, um, what I do, depending on the size of the image, these are smaller, so what I would do is um, take it, and I would get the scissors, and I would cut this out after it's painted. And then I would take the photo paper. The glossy side is the side I want to be on the back of this. So I would flip it over and I would put this like that. And then I would basically Mod Podge the two, you know, together. So you would take this image and flip it over, put your Mod Podge on the back of it, and pretty much just glue it to the paper side of your photo paper. Um, let it air dry. Normally the paint dries pretty quick, especially on paper. So I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever. Sometimes I let them stay all night and then come back in and then, um, you know, cut it out. And then uh, you can get the metal hooks and metal rings. I picked these up at Walmart a while back um, and there's all different sizes in here. I paid $3 for this. So you have like your hook. I mean, you have like your ring. And you have like a little hook and I'm making a crazy mess here and you basically will get a hole punch or um, whatever whatever you want to punch the hole in with and drive it through there and then hook it on this and then hook this to this and then you can take the wire um, this is not the color I would use 
but you can get this wire at Walmart for a dollar. I don't know how many feet are on here. Oh, it's three yards, three yards for a dollar. So I've been working off of this one for a little while and I've, you know, it goes a long ways. It just depends on what you're using it for. But I tell you what, I pay attention when I go into stores and um, especially like the consignment shops that I visit and I am like really racking up on a lot of different wire. Um, hardware stores probably have it. Um, different gauges of the wire I've noticed and, you know, work for different bottles. So this is really I wouldn't even know how to gauge this. I don't know. But it bends really easily. Um, you can get one of those jewelry repair kits. And it has the perfect set of needle nose pliers in there that are small enough for you to work with and, you know, bend the wire around. Um, but anyways, back to this. Um, that's how I'm going to do my elements for this. One good example is one of the bottles that I showed um, already in a video um, is this one. If you look at the sun tag that's on here, this is exactly how I'm going to make these, except my next set are going to be colored. This is basically just, um, it's got a metal ring around the neck of the bottle, and then I loop two more rings, and then i got a small piece of wire here, if you can see that. I'm trying so hard to get it to see. See, you just take it and then tie it on there, and then let it dangle off the side of the bottle. Same thing with some flip-flops. I made a set of flip-flops for this bottle. Um, and these are handmade. They're made off of um, tracing it or drawing it out onto the tracing paper, mod podging it to the photo paper. You see how the glossy side, it's really hard, y'all. The light is really bad in here. But it's got a glossy side to it that's kind of clean. Um, if I did the paper side of it, it would probably get, you know, smudged up. But this kind of keeps it where it kind of wipes off. So, um that's kind of how it looks on the bottle um, and not everything is together you know but it just gives it a little bit of character let's see we'll go this way see how it's just kind of hanging off that's kind of what I want to do with um, this bottle with this one I want to do it you know hanging off of the neck of the bottle so uh, that's pretty much it as far as the elements that's kind of what I'm working on tonight um, so I'm going to work on those. And then another thing that I wanted to mention, I didn't add in the last video. This is the acrylic gloss that I will seal up the bottle with. Um, <clears throat> this one is not going to be used as a soap dispenser, but this is kind of what I use when I'm going to seal up my bottles that are going to be around water. Um, and I probably will make a soap dispenser bottle out of some of these and, you know, but this right here, I think we got it at Walmart. It was probably like $6 for this too. And there's all different, you know, uh, this is medium. So there's different, um, I don't know what to call it, y'all. Strengths, maybe. I don't know. But um, that's this. And I planned on putting this in the last video and it completely forgot about it. So I'm going to work on these, get these painted, and then let them dry. And then um, I'm probably going to just present this bottle finished in the next video. And then we're going to probably move on to another project, I think. Um, I'm leaning more towards making some candles, um, some candle jars, and uh, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. But anyway, it's been a very long day for me, so I'm going to end this. And I will be back hopefully either tomorrow or the next day um, to, you know, post some more stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave a comment below. Hit subscribe. I have a ton more of stuff I want to share with y'all. You can also find me on Facebook. It's under Shannon Sharing Crafts. It's a public page. Um, you can follow me on there. And um, I don't know. We'll kind of, you know, go from, go from there. Um, one more thing, actually, I forgot. I'm going to actually add some of this stuff right here. My sister gave these to me today. So I thought about adding some of these elements onto it. And I don't know if you can see them all, but I want to do like a dream bottle, like with the sun and the moon kind of thing, celestial maybe, but I got these. So I'm going to add these on. And then I'm thinking about um, altering these hearts, maybe with some glitter or I don't really know yet. I'm going to play around with it though. But um, I got lucky today. She gave me all of this stuff and um, I'm really kind of excited to be able to use it. I'm very humble for everything that's given to me. So um, that's kind of where I'm at with it. So I will move on to the next video tomorrow or the next day. And um, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I don't know what else to say. Have a good night.